I think she jangled the game out. So um, Kill J want me to be in this video. This um, for this is for um, a Mortal Kombat uh, trilogy. Um, what do I really think of like the three original games? I really quite enjoy them. Quite a bit hard, right enough, because I've made a video like a few years ago where we tried to play it, but I couldn't play it, so I was very angry. But I do like the games. It's quite entertaining to see people see the still getting ripped off back then. But it's still a funny game. Well, that there. Uh, the graphics and um, the gameplay and all that are still smooth to these days. So, um, I, I, I just don't know why not to still pick this game up and give it a blast. A blast to the past. You know what I mean? Very exciting stuff. And also, to Kill J, thank you very much for. Thanks for letting me into your video into your life. Oh, why did I say life? I don't know. So, be able to check out his channel, my channel, everybody's channel. Or just watch me, you want to watch. I better go on, good job, big massive jobby. Goodbye. Jumble give us a and I'll see you around. The smell. Alright, it's Killer J here. And today we are doing a little cameo for Mortal Kombat Trilogy. Yeah. I don't, I don't play the compilation there. I only play the SNES and Sega Genesis versions. Yeah. I played, I played the few. I played Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 on my modded SNES Classic. Nice. Yeah. I got Mortal Kombat 11 recently as well. Oh. The DLC and everything under for under sixty dollars on the Switch eShop. Nice. On sale like I, I actually like. I, I'm set to get into Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Yeah. Remember playing Mortal Kombat X on my PS4 in high school a little bit. Oh yeah, that was a good game. Yeah. Yeah. Mortal Kombat Trilogy is just basically like Mortal Kombat Ultimate Mortal Kombat Free, but it has all the characters, even the bosses, are in it. Yeah. Nice. You get to play as Goro, Shao Kahn, Kentaro, Mutaro. Yeah. And this game is also, the Mortal Kombat game is also pretty popular in the arcade. Yeah, they were very popular in the 90s. That's what was the craze was Mortal Kombat was that. Yeah, and I actually, I remember, what, a few months ago, like, this is before COVID-19 happened and all that, I went, I family went to Quebec City, I went to this pawn shop, it was like a game store, some kind of French name, I don't know what it was called, but it was whatever they, they had Mortal Kombat, you let Mortal Kombat 2 arcade cabinet that you could play, and then Mortal Kombat is the arcade cabinet with the cores and everything. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Felt like those arcade one up ones where they're smaller, the actual size ones. Nice. With the with the quarters and with where you put the money in and everything. Like, yeah. Yeah. This one. One thing that that I saw online there, I saw this one video online that was that was called one of Super Smash Bros. had more combat fatalities. Oh yeah. Mhm. Mm Basically, more combat trilogy puts characters from MK1 and 2 in this game. Yeah. Yeah. It's basically more ultimate more combat, ultimate the third more combat, but it has more characters from, from the first three installments there. Yeah. And the bosses as well on the PlayStation 1. Yeah. Do you know who I think would be an excellent crossover character from Mortal Kombat? Who? Bayonetta. Yeah, well... I would say Dante for Dummy Cry would be awesome. Yeah, because I, I know that some of the... I know that some of the Platinum games are coming to, on, on PS4 now, like Wonderful 101. It started off as a Wii U exclusive. Oh, yeah. So that is it for your more Kart Trilogy cameo. Yeah. Peace out. One, two, three, four, and I'm basing out. All right, peace. All right, this is uh, Killer J here. So is there anything Crow here? What's yeah, up? not much. So, um, just wanted to get my quick thoughts on the Mortal Kombat Trilogy. Um, this version of Mortal Kombat is. Probably for me the absolute best. I mean, you have all the characters, um, you know, 
such as all the different versions from Mortal Kombat 1 and 3. Uh, like Sonya, for example, you can only use her for um, like an MK3. Um, it's probably the best game, but the loading in the but the loading in between the fights are kind of annoying, so um, but Yeah, I mean, but for me, if they were to fix it, you know, then this game would, would be flawless, so, but, yeah, I'd say this game is pretty good, it's pretty satisfying. Yep. What, do we, which, um, go ahead. So what? I said, which one do you so like what? version, the N64 or PlayStation 1? I definitely say the M sixty four one. Okay. But I think the PS one version had the bosses in it. Really? <laughs> yeah, I had Kentaro, Goro, Shao Kahn, and Montaro. <laughs> uh, yeah. Hmm. The I don't play that one much. Yeah. Too much for <laughs> anything else you want to say? Um, anything else? Yeah. Um, I'd say it's, I'd say it's probably like one of the best uh, Mortal Kombat games. Uh, they changed the, the fight mechanics, and um, yeah, it's not bad, really. So. Final thoughts? So a pretty good game. That's good. So uh, that's pretty much it for now. That's pretty much it. Yeah, peace. Thank you. Oh, it's Kua J here. That is Benjamin Avery here. And today we're talking about Mortal Kombat Trilogy. Yes. So what? Right. Do you, okay. What do you have to say about it? Okay. Yes, I enjoyed that game for the first time. I, I really loved that game. The first character I played was Luke Cybot, and I really enjoyed it for the first time because I thought that game was new for me. I was new for playing Mortal Kombat at that time in 2003. The PS1 version had all the bosses in it there. Yeah. Goro, Shao Kahn, uh, Kentaro, and uh, Mutaro. Oh, yes. I see that's that. awesome. Yeah. But they actually, they actually brought back uh, Johnny Cage, who was a different actor. Yes. Was the actor for Johnny Cage was doing some shitty fighting game there, and that never came out, and yeah. Yeah. It has Human Sub Zero and Ninja Sub Zero. Yeah. Reptiles in the game as well. Yes, I'm glad because Reptiles my favorite character. Ah, uh, who else? Yeah, everyone from MK1 through 3 was there. Yeah. It was before Mortal Kombat and again had all a shit ton of characters. It was like, um, you know. Yeah. This is pretty much Benjamin Weaver's cameo for the event there. What you say about anything? I said it's a cameo. Yeah, it's interesting. Yeah, I like uh, comedian also in that game. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Yeah. So that is it for your cameo. Mm -hmm. Final thoughts. Final boss. I like uh, Montaro and Kentaro. Nice. Awesome. All right. Peace. Peace. Alright, this is Forever Retro and 10 year anniversary, and today is Killer G Gaming with. Retro Gaming Star! 
Yeah. Pleased to meet your acquaintance. He's going to be a cameo in this event. With Mortal Kombat, the Mortal Kombat trilogy. Yeah, on PlayStation 1 and N64. And Sega Saturn. Yeah, I, to be honest with you, I kind of prefer the N64 version because, um... <clears throat> the play the PS1 has loading times. Yeah. The best thing about the PS1 version is the they added the bosses. Yeah, yeah. So, um, and I, I think that Mortal Kombat, the Mortal Kombat trilogy is a great way for, like, people who never played Mortal Kombat to get into, like, if they want to get into the fighting genre, and if they don't have all three games, they can just get the trilogy on either the PS1 or the N64. But my best bet, go for the N64 version, because that one has no loading times. Indeed. Indeed, man. Yeah, but um, I did play the Mortal Kombat trilogy. I think that it's a great game. Mortal Kombat's awesome. You know, um, every time I think of Mortal Kombat, I always think of Killer Instinct. That game was awesome back then. Oh, yeah, Killer Instinct is... Killer Instinct is the best. Yeah. Yeah, but Mortal Kombat just trumps it, man. Yeah. Oh, hey, um, Killer J, you remember that theme by Mortal Kombat called Techno Syndrome? Yeah. I was listening to it, and man, did that pummel, that, 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 that just pummeled my heart, which is beats. Yeah. It's, good. yeah. it's a good theme. It is a good theme, but Mortal Kombat Trilogy is a great game. I love that game so much. It is near and dear to my heart. I played Mortal Kombat. Um, I, I'm i going to play the recent Mortal Kombat 11. Um, I'm going to play Mortal Kombat 11 on PS4. Um, and um, I think that's going to be good because um, it's been a while since I played Mortal Kombat. And I played the older games. And um, let me tell you, Goro is a real... I, I hate to say it, but he's a real piece of work, you know that? Yeah, he is. He's quite, he's quite the challenge. Yeah, I died to him, like, almost like, I, I lost all my continues, I have to start all over. Yeah, so this is it for the but, cameo. Uh, this has been Retro Gaming Star. Killer J. Signing out. There. Killer J here. Liam. And today is a cameo for Mortal Kombat Trilogy. For the N64, PlayStation 1, and Sega Saturn. Sega Saturn, or whatever you say. They're Sega's, Sega's console. Mm -hmm. And this one has the bosses on the PlayStation 1 version. Has Kentaro, Goro, Mutaro, and uh, Shao Kahn. And just to remind everyone, what year did it come out again? 1996. 1996? Yeah. So it's a bit of a classic, would you say? Yes. Mm -hmm. It has the MK1 to... One one roster, second game, and the third game's roster mm -hmm. has who else is that? Has a lot of people in it. Mm -hmm. Has Raiden, Johnny Cage, everyone that was from those pr previous games are there. So pretty much all the OG characters, right? Yes, mm -hmm. Reptile, Rain. There's a whole bunch of characters like Whack Load there. Mm -hmm. So you're not start for choice then? No. 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 Well, they had a lot of characters. Gameplay wise, how does it hold up? Gameplay is pretty good. When you play the bosses, the health goes down a lot faster on the opponents there. Mm -hmm. There's uh, some bosses in the game hit a lot harder. Right. Especially Kentaro and Goro and Shao Kahn and the other one there, the Centaur one there. Mm -hmm. They hit hard there. And so there's a bit of a difficulty or uh, learning curve to it? Yeah, there is. Mm -hmm. You have to beat uh, the, 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 mm -hmm. the, big guy, the guy with the man, Mantar, not man, Mantar, but Mutaro. Or, right, Mutaro. That, yeah, that guy there. Yep. And Shao Kahn. Mm -hmm. Those are your two bosses. Mm -hmm. Guy with the four legs is like a sub boss, and Shao Kahn's your main bad guy there. Okay. Hate Shao Kahn. Yeah, same. I don't think there's anyone who likes him. No, well, you in MK9, he was freaking terrible to fight. Mm -hmm. Especially in the story mode, it raided in there. Holy shit, he was hard. His x ray did like half your half your health there. Right. Like 55, 50 some damage. Like, so, damn. What does he do to you in these games? Well, he, you know, he basically does the same. He goes in the air, he, mm -hmm. then he taunts you, and he goes up in the air and does, does that green glowing thing, then charge at you like a football player. Mm -hmm. And what else? I'm pretty sure he throws spears, too. He just mm -hmm. does a lot of crazy shit there. So. When, he, when, he, when, he, when he taunts there, and that gives you a window of opportunity to hit him. Right. 
Sometimes he does show off and says, you'll never win, and then he goes, like, point with his finger. Mm -hmm. Then he gave him a good combo there. So, so yeah. what would you say for people who maybe are on the fence about it? Uh, Just because it it's a bit of an older game. I say go try it there. It's a good game. Mm -hmm. It's a game that every, er, everyone should try on the play, on the PlayStation 1. Mm -hmm. Even if you have it on the N64 and N64 version, version's not too bad. But it just doesn't have the bosses. Right. PlayStation 1 version has the bosses in it. So, which version would you say is the best one to go for? I say a PlayStation 1 version besides the loading times there. Right. Yeah. So, that is it, I guess. Alright. Alright, peace out. Later. Alright, this is Kuro J here. Steel 316. Ah, uh, yes, once again, with Mortal Kombat Trilogy. That's right. The greatest Mortal Kombat of all time. Yeah. What do you think about it? <laughs> it's the greatest game ever. Yeah. But it's one reason. One, the music. Two, the characters. The three, just everything. Yeah. The roster size was good there. Mm -hmm. You could play. You could play bosses like Shao Kahn, Motaro, Goro, Kitaro, all of that. Yeah, that was on the PS1 version. Yeah. That's the best version and, was that. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the music the movie was edgy and dark in the PS1 version. It is, it is. I think they had the best roster of, the, of that game. Yeah. They had Rain, they had Raiden, they had sm Cyber Smoke, they had Cyrox mm -hmm. Sector, Reptile, Sub-Zero, Sub -Zero, and the classic one. Yep. Scorpion. And, uh, Kung Lao. Johnny Cage. That was, yeah. Fucking, what else? Oh, man. Jax. Sonya Blade. He played his arms ripped out. Sonya Blade, Jay, uh, Jay Katana Molina, Dave, Shiva, Sindel, uh, Shang Tsung, uh, all of that. They had all the characters. All the characters from the first three mm -hmm. Mortal Kombat games were there. Cabal yeah. was there, Striker. All of them. Kano was there. Liu Kang, Kung Lao, Johnny Cage, Raiden. Yeah. They had all those characters. Yeah. In the N64 version, they don't got any characters. They all got the boss characters on the N64 version. Yeah, that sucked. Because I think the N64 had limitations there. Those consoles had limitations back then. Yep. The PS1 did, I think the best version is the PS1 version. Besides the loading times, it's still a good version. Mm-hmm. Because it had the best roster out of all the characters. You play the sub-bosses, what's wrong? No, there's nothing wrong with that. Yep. You got classic uh -huh. rules like the Deadpool here. Yeah. The Deadpool got is awesome. The, uh, courtyard. Yep. The little forest. The cemetery. And the, yeah. The pit. The soul chamber. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, they had that one. Yeah, the Molcott courtyard there when you're from the first Molcott game. I know you have a bunch of arenas. You had uh, the monastery, I believe. You had that there too. Yeah, a bunch of good arenas in this game. The roster okay. size was great. Yeah, the roster size was good. Yeah, Nightwolf there. Yeah. Cabal. Yeah, Cabal was there too. Baraka. Oh, yeah. Iron Mag. 
Yeah, Ermac was good. Mm-hmm. What else did you have? I think you had a bunch of other characters, too. Yeah, that's a lot of uh, kidding me. I know you had, yeah, Reptile was there. Oh, yeah, Reptile. There's a whole bunch of characters in that game. There's so many there. It's not even funny there. Uh -oh. I think this was the most satisfying game. This game and Armageddon had the best rosters. In terms of characters, there's a lot of characters that everyone wanted, and they were in, they were in those games. That's why I like those older games there. Because the roster size was good. Uh -huh. I don't care when it says, oh, well, the roster, rosters in, are big, yeah. Well, MK Armageddon, yeah, it had limits, yeah, but it had a good roster, though. Yep, it's true. Way better roster than MK11 right now, there. Oh. I think the, the older Mortal Kombat games had better rosters than the newer Mortal Kombat's there. Mm -hmm. I think the one that has a decent roster is MK, MKXL. MKXL, not a bad roster. And MK9. Mm -hmm. Those are two good rosters there. Okay. Does MKXL do at least we're going forward with the story and then MK11 they kind of turned back time and did the same thing they did with MK9? Yep. Which is like, okay, well, can we tell the story forward? Go with Deception Armageddon characters? Give them the chance of day? Give Havoc, Ashra, and all them, Hutaru, you can explore your Order Realm elements there? Dyrus, Dairu? Mm hmm. They should bring characters like that back. The characters are from the 3D era. Some characters haven't been playable in like in years. That's what they should be focusing on. But they focus on the, on other things that shouldn't be focused on. Which is kind of dumb there. Yeah. I compare this to Trilogy to Armageddon. Yeah. Because Armageddon got a lot of characters in Trilogy. Don't get me wrong. Shows you a good game, but I'm gonna have to good, good, uh, great ass roster then. Yes, it did. That an amazing roster. Yeah. Had an amazing roster. I think the best roster was Armageddon there. This game, too, has a good roster, too. This was the first earlier Mortal Kombat games. I like Raiden's design. This game got classic Raiden. That's not. That's pretty cool. <laughs> so, I remember this area. This area was pretty epic. There. Yeah. Yeah. It was featured in Mortal Kombat Three, the third one. They're fighting Shao Kahn's court area right here with uh, Kano and Goro. I think in those backgrounds, you can see the people that are moving around there. Yeah, I see that too. Yeah. Shao Kahn's uh, cheerers there. Mm hmm This was an area from MK2, but they took off uh, Sonya and Kano, but Sonya and Kano are not, are not prisoners there. They're all altering to the stage a little bit there. Mm-hmm. But Sonya was... Uh, wasn't MK, it wasn't MK2, but she was background with Kano, so. So only was an MK3, though, later on there. Okay, uh, what else? Well, well, we know graphics are already good. Those are good. Those are, not, those are pretty good there. Mm-hmm. We are, I think we already touched about the graphics, you know, they're pretty good for PS1 there. Mm -hmm. This is a 2D fighting game, it's not a 3D fighting game. Mm -hmm. The MK4 was 3D there, that was the experimental game they were doing 3D with at the time. Yeah. Then after MK Deadly Alliance, MK Deadly Alliance did, did a really good job when that came out there. So, yeah. Anything else you want to say about MK Trilogy or? Mm, I don't 
that's it. Okay. No, well, that is it for now. See you people later. Would you give your hey, final... What's your what's the, what's the thought? What's your, uh, what's the rating? Okay, 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 let's do that. Fuck, we almost forgot. Okay, well, my rating is a 10. Yeah, same thing. Okay. That is it, Killer G. Yep, Steve, take your steam. How's it rip your ass? See you later. Bye. All right, it's Killer J here. Perfect watch here. And today is more Kart Trilogy for the PlayStation 1, N64, and Sega Saturn. Sega Saturn. Or how we say it there? Yeah. Yeah, this is a pretty good game, Mortal Kombat Trilogy. I would say it's the best of the 2D arcade, you know, arcade area games, you know? Yeah. In my opinion, you know, it's pretty much the Mortal Kombat Armageddon of the 90s. Yes. Uh, you know, pretty much every character from K1, 2, and 3 is here. And, uh, you know, this is a really fun game. Uh, I recommend the PS1 port. Yes. Um, one, it's much, the AI is much easier to deal with. And two, it's got all the content. It's got all the characters, the too. N64, uh, because it had hardware limitations, you know, it had to c make some cuts, you know. The N64 so, version yeah. caught the bosses. Yeah, that was unfortunate. Notaro was badass. Yeah. Rest in peace, Notaro. It's sad that he'll never appear in another game again. Same with Because of his physique. Because he had a really unique physique, which made him cool. Yeah. But, like, now, he can't even appear in another game. Notaro was just a Shang Tsung's fatality. Mutaro is not going to make it a modern Mortal Kombat game because they don't want to animate him, that's why. Yeah. Which is a shame, too. Mortal Kombat Armageddon, they gave him, like, freaking two legs because he's supposed to be a centaur. Uh-huh. Mortal Kombat Armageddon nerfed him, I find. Yeah. And MK11 is just, she. He's, he's, his head is ripped off by Shiva. Yeah, that's unfortunate. The Mortal Kombat trilogy. This is when Midway actually gave it, g cared about their characters, and gave them good, interesting stories and backgrounds. Yeah. Compared to now. Yeah, definitely. And I do like the gameplay of this game too. It's really fun. Really fun to play with friends, you know. And it's got a fun arcade mode. Though usually I ever play as Noob, Cybot, or the bosses, because goddamn the AI can be a bitch in these older games. Oh yeah, for sure. <clears throat> Shao Kahn kicks ass just boo night boo fuck night wolf out of there oh yeah kicking ass yeah I think my favorite boss to play is actually Asmo Taro yeah he's just so cheap yeah especially when he does the, the high uses his high legs to kick in the back there and you fall back mhm mm that's pretty good attack <clears throat> he's a pretty good attack mm -hmm. fighter there yep I like Shotgun here. Shotgun was good back then, but he was hard to fight. Mm-hmm. You know, Shotgun, when, you know, he had an interesting backstory. He was, you know, the evil ruler of Outworld, along with Shang Tsung and all of them there. Yeah. And he probably made a lot of people rage quit back in the day there, Shotgun. Oh, yeah. He was, like, one of the best love-to-hate villains. He was just so fun. Especially in Wokan 2 and fighting him? Holy shit, was crazy. Yeah, it was fucking rage, crazy. Yeah. It was rage indeed, especially in MK, uh, the third MK game. Fuck, it was hard because he did that charge attack and he went flying in the air and that there hit with his his hammer, and he stunned you too when he hits <laughs> you. Yep. So, yeah. So what's up? Sorry, I was just, you know, watching the gameplay, you know, with Johnny Cage fighting Shao Kahn. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Now, yeah, I remember they were originally, they had to get a new actor for Johnny Cage as the original got fired, and they could not not include Johnny Cage, because if they didn't, that would have been, like, a big disappointment. So they brought him back, and they got, like, a new actor. I think it was actually the original actor's brother, funny enough. Yeah. Was the original actor went did this fighting game that never got released, sir? Yeah. Was that fighting game just bombed? Yeah. The only reason anybody knows about that is because 
of the Johnny Cage poster. Yeah, it was a cult like status there. It was like the B seventeen bomber had bombed. Pretty much, yeah. So what's your rating on Warcon trilogy? I would say ten out of ten. Uh ten out of ten too. Yeah. Yeah, ten out of ten too. So that is it for now. Killer J here. Alright. Perfect Welch. Perfect Welch. Signing out. Peace. Alright, we're starting now there. So it's Killer J here. More Pat? Yeah. This is going to be a little scene for my anniversary event this year. So this is like a Warpack cameo. Okay, yeah. Fuck! Johnny Cage. Cage beat you. Yeah. 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 Fight. I already have this game, but it's on the PlayStation 1 Classic there. This is literally just a PS1 emulator. Yeah. It's the same fucking thing. Yeah. And it's running better than your PlayStation. Probably, yeah. I'm going to put it past it there. Well, it's not that. It's just the load times are like a lot faster because I'm running it through a flash drive. Yeah. Holy freak. Yeah, brutality. Oh, yeah. Damn. That's because I'm playing on normal. Okay. Nice. Brutality. And normal is retarded for yeah. some reason. Yeah. Can imagine. You know Shao Kahn is there when you fight him at the end there. Oh yeah, and then he taunts into the fucking brick. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I'm just doing the video because Jordan wanted to do the video this game. Yeah, we're doing it together there. It's one of the few games I have ready there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I have a bunch of stuff ready, but you know what I mean there. One well, I have over a hundred and some ISO, so... Yeah. At maybe some point, you'll be seeing a lot more on my computer. Yeah. Let's just, let's just put it that way. Yes. Because all like this is this is how it runs. Per, it just runs like naturally this good. Mm -hmm. oh, cool human smoke. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. But the load times are a bit whack, though. Like, yeah. I mean, I know it's you know PS One and it's supposed to have load times, but I don't know. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of that either. The arcade was just streamlined. Yeah. Is then, this the one with a female chameleon with a K or C? I think so. One of them there. Oh, there's Born Foggle. Yeah, and Blaze in the background. Get over here. Get over here. Come on, Warpat, you can do it. Warpat wins. Scorpion's my main, usually. Yeah. Ed Boon's main character, Scorpion. Is he? Yeah. Nice. Little spear. No, I'm trying to figure out if the teleport's in this one. I don't know. Should be. Watch out. Shooting green spawn balls at you. Oof! Damn. Oh, he's gonna get me here. I didn't die. No. At least he didn't brutality you that time. Yeah, like I suck at Mortal Kombat to be quite, yeah. quite frank, but. Some people do, some people don't. It's what it is. It really is what it is. Yeah. And some people just got it and some people don't. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So I guess that's it for our cameo. Peace out. And thank you, Warpat, once again. Hey, no problem, man. Peace.